For this video, we're going to figure out how to graph a production possibilities frontier. A production possibilities frontier tells us basically the combination of goods and services we can produce and those that we cannot. So I've come up with a table here of tea and crumpets, that the economy that we're discussing, these are the two things that they produce. So if we are going to make a production possibilities frontier, we have our two axes, and it doesn't really matter if we put T or crumpets on either axis, we'll just put T up here, we'll put crumpets down here, we could have put crumpets up here and T down there, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we have our range here, so T goes from 0 to 150, so our origin's always that spot right there, so that'd be 0. So we have 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. If you have graph paper, it probably turns out nicer, but I don't expect it to look perfect. So we have 20, we have 40, 60, 80, 100. Okay, so what we would do is we'd say, okay, if this economy is producing 150 units of tea, it's using all of its resources to produce that tea, so we don't have any resources left over to make crumpets. So we would plot that point as right here. That's point A, 150 units of tea and zero units of crumpets. Now let's just zip right down here to, to alternative F. If we used all of our resources to produce crumpets, we get 100 crumpets, but we don't have any left over to make tea. So that would be this point right here. Now in this class, when we, we are making production possibilities frontiers, they're, they're going to be linear. If you take macro and micro later, or if you've already taken it, we don't typically use a linear production possibilities frontier, but this is how your book explains it, so that's how we'll stick with it. Okay, so if we add in here crumpets, we add 20 crumpets. Okay, we add 20 crumpets, so we're going from here to here. We started at zero, we're going to 20. What happens over here is we lose some T. We're using the resources, we're adding 20 crumpets, so we had to take some resources we were using for T over here and transfer them over to crumpets. So we lose, so we have minus 30 units of T, but we add 20 crumpets, okay? So that point would be about here, and we could plot the rest of them, 90 and, one, and 40 and 60, but basically what we're gonna get is a production possibilities frontier. This is our PPF, we call it. So this is our boundary. This is the boundary. We can produce everything on this PPF, okay? We could produce everything inside as well, but these are in inefficient points of production. If I'm in here, I'm not using all of my resources or I'm not using them to their best ability, okay? So inside our PPF, that's inefficient. We don't wanna be in there. But we can't get out here. This is unattainable, okay? So this PPF, as I said, is the boundary between those combinations of goods that we can produce and those that we can't. We can produce anything on the line and inside. We don't wanna produce inside because it's inefficient, but everything out here is unattainable. Okay, so that's how we make our PPF. Now, if we had some sort of economic growth, let's say we had some sort of fertilizer that allowed us to get more of the materials to make tea and crumpets, we could see our PPF shift outwards, okay? But in this case, this is our original PPF and, and it shows the combinations we can and cannot produce.